High School Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. It is senior night in South Deerfield. The Frontier Red Hawks play host to the Greenfield Green Wave. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins directly at courtside. Now let's go to the floor for the festivities. Our third senior plans on studying sports medicine in the fall 
while attending Bridgewater State University. He also hopes to be a member of the school's baseball team. Tonight, he is joined by his mom, Kim, father, Alan, and sister, Lila. Please help us congratulate Kaylin Evans. Great bunch of seniors honored tonight before tonight's final home game for the Frontier Red Hawks. Both these teams are headed into the postseason, and of course, senior night in and of itself is a good talking point and certainly one for nostalgia. But there is actually a basketball game to be played, and this one actually has postseason implications. Both of these teams come into this game with five wins in the Hampshire League North. Frontier currently is in first place. Greenfield is a half game back. Frontier, despite having a great season, 16 and two, they have not clinched the league yet. This is their chance to clinch the league. Greenfield comes in with a record of 10 and nine, five and two in the league. If Greenfield wins, and it's conceivable they could win this game, they would take the Intercounty League North Championship. Now Frontier won the first game between these two teams. But both teams have five league wins. So the winner tonight wins the league title. What does that matter? Well, it matters because though both these teams are going into the postseason in the same division, the winner of the outright league title has a better likelihood of getting a higher seed. And a higher seed could mean the difference between hosting an opening round game or a second round game or being on the road for an opening round or a second round game. This is a big deal for the Frontier Red Hawks and for the Greenfield Green Wave. The Green Wave were a bubble team for a good part of the second half of the season, but they clinched their ticket to the postseason with a big win over Mohawk. A win tonight gives them the Hampshire County League North title and a likely first round home game or potentially a first round bye. Frontier Red Hawks are gonna be a high seed. The only question is, will they be a number one or just a top three or four? But I would think that Frontier, if they win tonight, will be in good shape to either get a bye or at the very least host an opening round game based on strength of schedule and the fact they only have two losses. Only one of those losses came to a Western Mass 
proper team, the Franklin County, New Hampshire County proper team. They lost one game into a Berkshire team in the early part of the season, then Smith Academy upset them last week on this floor. That may have been the wake-up call. Ben Barashevsky's guys needed this. An absolute playoff atmosphere tonight. Packed house, still a few seats left, but this is going to be one of those games, and the way Greenfield plays defense and the, and the inconsistency that Frontier has shown late in the season, this is one of those games where it's not a mail-in. The first time around, Frontier pretty much dominated using the front court of the Carey brothers as major weapons, and they really out Greenfield at Nichols Gymnasium. Tonight, I would expect Ben Barashevsky to come out with a similar game plan, but two players on Greenfield that have been really coming on as of late are Mason Meadows and Julius Brewington. They are the main front court threats and the main defensive threats for Greenfield on the inside. Now let's go to the floor for the starting lineups. with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now, for tonight's starting lineups, for Greenfield, at guard, number 10, Owen Phelps. At guard, number 22, Ryan Cody. At center, number 14, Mason Meadows. At forward, number 11, Jake Sack. At forward, number 21, Hunter Campbell. Greenfield is coached by Angelo Thomas. Now, for Frontier, at guard, number one, Alex Stark. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. This is the final home regular season game for the Frontier Redhawks. They play one more game next week at Athol. And then next Saturday, Frontier will find out what their fate will be, as will Greenfield, in terms of the seating for the Division Three field. Meadows against Karsten Carey, and the tip goes into the backcourt to the Greenfield Green Wave. Owen Phelps brings it up for the wave. Phelps, Greenfield moving right to left. Left side it goes to Cody. On the elbow to Sack, back to Cody. High post to Mason. Mason trying to work on Carey, dishes it back to Phelps. Phelps, Hunter Campbell, three ball, front of the iron, no good. Peter Carey, the rebound, clears. Out to Owen Morse. To Sharp. Morse on the right side with it. Runs it cross court to Kalen Evans. 17 to shoot. Kalen in the corner to Owen. Out to Kalen. Kalen up fakes. 
finds Karsten. No look pass to Peter on the baseline. Back to Karsten, and Karsten gets fouled on the way up. It's going to be before the shot, though, they're going to say. So it's a non-shooting foul. And Sharp to inbound. First team foul on Greenfield, and the first one on Jake Sack. Lobs it back to Carey on the right elbow. To Evans over to Sharp. Sharp for three. Air ball. And we've got Karsten Carey pushing off underneath on Owen Phelps. And so it's an offensive foul. And Greenfield will get it back. That's the first on Karsten. First on the team. Hunter Campbell throws it in to Owen Phelps. To Cody cross court. A little three quarter court press by the Hawks. Lobbed up ahead to Sack. Broken by Greenfield. Back over to Phelps. Side to Cody. RC looking for someone to pass to. Hands it off to Phelps at the rings. Ten seconds to shoot. Phelps runs it right side to Mason Meadows. Top of the key to Cody. In the corner it goes to Sack. Sacker pulls through. Off the glass and in. And a nice dish of the baseline to Owen Phelps. 2-0 Greenfield. Owen Morse now. To Sharp. Back to Morse. Right side to Kalen. Kalen up fakes to Peter. Peter hook shot in the lane. Spins out no good. Karsten battles for the rebound. Phelps comes away with it though. Nice play by Owen Phelps. Spins it back to Hunter Campbell. Back over to Phelps. Left side to Cody. Back to Phelps, top of the key. To Sack. Sacker to Meadows in the baseline. Meadows travels as Karsten had him blocked off nicely on the baseline. 6.02 to go, first quarter, 2-0 Greenfield on senior night at Goodno Gymnasium. Alex Sharp to Morse. Peter Carey, right elbow, cross court to Evans. Kalen, high post to Karsten. Karsten gets Meadows in the air, shot no good. Rebound Hunter Campbell. Owen Phelps down to Hunter. Hunter sees a scene, tries to dish it off, stolen by Morse. Good play by Owen. Morse tries to split the D, goes strong through, shoots it up, and draws the foul, and Owen will get two shots as he ran right at Mason Meadows. Excuse me, they gave that foul to Jake Sack, so that's two quick ones on Sacker. And Morse at the line, they're gonna get Jake out of there. First shot by Owen is good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves. Deerfield's town moderator, a practicing attorney in Greenfield and a Greenfield High School graduate. 7738706 at Bobby C's DJ Service, best mobile disc jockey in the valley. Bobby C's DJ Service.com. Morris misses the second one. Rebound to Phelps. Phelps hands it to Meadows. Mason runs cross court, stops, cuts it back to Hunter. Campbell to Meadows in the, point in the paint. Meadows bounce pass down low, looking for Hart on the baseline. Meadows wanted that three, pulls back, loses control out of bounds, and we're going back the other way. So right now, Frontier's defense doing a good job containing Greenfield pretty much, but their offense is yet to generate much in the way of consistency. Morse right side to Evans. Kalen. Bounce pass down to Karsten, and Karsten got pulled on by Hart. And that's going to be should be on the floor. It will be on the floor. It'll be first on Jared, third on the team. And Sharp to throw it inbounds for the Hawks. Right side to Owen. Morse. Top of the key to Kalen. Kalen to Peter. Peter on the right elbow for three. Good! A three ball from Peter Carey on the right elbow. And it's 4-2 Frontier. Cody now. Phelps in the backcourt. Trying to get it up past Sharp, up ahead to Mason. And Hunter Campbell with it now. Left side, three ball is good by Owen Phelps. And Owen has all five of Greenfield's points in this game. Morse, left side to Sharp. Sharp back to Owen. Owen, stutter step through, travel. The Greenfield faithful like what they're seeing. Good defense played by the Green Wave right now. And Frontier does not seem to be in the offensive flow they would normally be at this point in the game. Campbell to Cody. 
And Cody gets bumped by Kalen. And that's going to be a blocking foul on Kalen Evans, his first team second. That will slow down the Greenfield attack temporarily. Hunter Campbell to throw it in to Owen Phelps. Again, the winner of this game wins the Inter County League or the Hampshire County League North. Bullet pass on the baseline to Meadows to Hart. Hart dribbles through, blocked by Carey on the way up. Rebound pulled down by Sharp. Sharp to Evans. Kalen now. Right side to Alex. Lobs to Carey on the baseline. Carey, turnaround jumper from behind the backboard, no good. Owen Phelps the rebound. Up ahead to Hart. Jared. Back to Owen. 3.37 to go, first quarter, 5-4 Greenfield. Phelps running jumper, side of the iron, no good. Kalen Evans the rebound. Evans up ahead to Sharp. Alex, right side to Kalen. Down low, Peter Carey gets bumped out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier. And then they're bringing Julius Brewington. And Mason Meadows will sit down, so Brewington out there to guard Karsten Carey. Peter Carey all alone on the left elbow. Three ball, rims out, no good. Brewington, big board. Phelps up ahead to Hunter Campbell. Campbell back to Owen. Owen, it's just to Hart, or Campbell rather. Campbell tries to dish it off to Hart, and there's going to be a foul. Who are they going to get? It's going to be on Hart who collided with Kalen Evans. That's two on Jared. And Sharp now will bring it up. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. 5-4 Greenfield. Sharp right side to Evans. Evans tries to feed the paint to Carey. Deflected away. Ryan Cody with it now. RC left side to Campbell. Campbell to Brewington. Jumper in the lane is good for Julius Brewington. And it's 7-4 Greenfield. Sharp with it now. Left side to Owen Morse. Right side to Kalen. Back to Morse. Morse, left side to Sharp. Alex to Peter Carey. Carey up, fakes. 14 to shoot. It's going to be a foul on Owen Phelps. As Owen Phelps has drawn the unenviable job of shadowing Peter Carey. Peter's going to come out into the game. Gabe Jones-Thompson also into the game for the first time. Tim Barrington. The great one will come in for Kalen Evans. Sharp down to Karsten. Karsten, a sky hook in the paint, no good. Rebound pulled down by Owen Phelps. Phelps up ahead to Hunter Campbell. Back to Owen. Owen for three, top of the key, no good. Karsten, the rebound. Alex to Alex Sharp. 2.10 to go, first quarter, 7 4 Greenfield. Alex pulls it back. Top of the key to Barrington, right side to Morse. Morris to carry a high post to Gabe Jones Thompson. Jones Thompson cross court to Barrington. 13 to shoot. Barrington to Sharp. Sharp loves it back out. And it goes through the hands of Karsten Carey over to jo Julius Brewington. Frontier looks discombobulated right now. Meadows to Phelps. Campbell to Brewington. Brewington back to Campbell to Owen. Great passing by Greenfield. Back to Hunter. Hunter to Meadows. 13 to shoot. Mason, right side to Hunter. Hunter spots up for three. Bank shot does not go. Hunter rebound, gets the rebound, though. Kicks it back out. Fresh 30. Meadows went up for the hook shot. Blocking foul by Jones Thompson. Frontier crowd does not like that call. As it looked like he got all ball. But Mason Meadows will go to the line with a chance to extend this lead with two shots. So Greenfield's defense has been the story in this one. Meadows' first one is good. Nice game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television and Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are good friends and longtime Deerfield residents. Visit them at yarn.com. Second shot is good by Meadows. 9-4 Greenfield, five-point lead, largest of the game so far. Sharp lobs it to carry on the baseline. Karsten, cross court to Barrington. Over to Morse, Morse. Gabe Jones Thompson, Sharp, Sharp for three. No good, carry the rebound, put back, no good. But he draws the foul.
That's going to be on Brewington, his first. That's the team's third. They're going to bring Kalen back in. And Owen Morse will take a seat. So Kalen and Sharp in the backcourt, along with Barrington, Jones Thompson, and Karsten. Gets the inbound pass. Carey tries to go up underneath, draws the foul again. It's going to be on Brewington. Two quick ones on JB. And that time he'll draw the two-shot foul. So Brewington, just like that, is in foul trouble. And Angelo Thomas not happy with the call at all. Still talking with the ref. Carey's first one does not go. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. But right across from the South Deerfield Common, go see Nicole and the gang today. Second shot by Karsten does not go, misses them both. Rebound comes out into the hands of Mason Meadows. Owen Phelps now with the ball. Owen gets a screen, goes left side. And in the corner it goes. Jumper by Morse, if you rather right, by Phelps is no good. And it goes out of bounds. 42 seconds left in the quarter. Campbell to inbound. It's amazing if Greenfield can hold Frontier to four points in this quarter. That'll be amazing. Meadows travels as he was bottled up by Carey. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. 30 second shot clock. For the Hawks. Evans now. Right side to Jones Thompson. Bounce pass to Karsten in the baseline. Karsten out to Sharp. Sharp's jumper does not go. Rebound pulled down by Mason. 25 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Phelps now. Pulling it back for one final one. Owen calling out the play. Barrington on him. Six seconds left. Meadows. Trying to drive on Karsten. Kick back out. Three ball is way off the mark. And that'll bring to an end the first quarter. We have played one quarter in South Dakota at the end of one. Greenfield nine, Frontier four. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks. Customer driven networking for your business. Software driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at BobbyCDJService.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second quarter about to get underway here. The Greenfield Green Waves defense stifling Frontier in that first quarter, holding the Hawks to only four points. And Greenfield leads it nine to four as we start the second frame. The original starting five on the floor for the Red Hawks. Peter carried inbound to Alex Sharp. Sharp now. Right side to Owen Morse. Morse and a high post to Karsten. Karsten jump pass to Kalen. Kalen jumper inside the arc, no good. Rebound, Morse tries to go up strong, gets fouled. So the shooting woes continue for the Frontier Redhawks. Owen Morse will get two foul shots. Owen's first one does not go. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Extreme Networks. Customer-driven networking for your business. ExtremeNetworks.com. Second shot is good. So he makes one of two. 9-5 Greenfield. Phelps now. Now Campbell up ahead to Mason Meadows. Meadows. Cross court. 
Dished off to Hunter Campbell. Campbell to Meadows. Meadows loses control. Eight to shoot. Phelps, travel. And we're going back the other way. So Greenfield having their challenges moving the basketball. A real serious defensive struggle going on right now. Ryan Cody's back into the game for Greenfield. Sharp now. Left side to Owen Morse. Morse cross court to Kalen. Evans. Peter Carey to Karsten. Karsten goes around Meadows, gets hit on the way up. So Greenfield doing a good job defending Karsten Carey, but they're racking up fouls now under the basket. And Karsten has been held scoreless in this game. He'll try to shoot two here. First shot does not go. He's 0 for 3 from the line. Uncharacteristic for Karsten Carey. Second shot, that one goes. So he's one for four. And it's Greenfield nine, Frontier six. Phelps now ahead to Meadows. Meadows crosses the timeline. Mason loses control of the basketball. Battle for it. Possession arrow favors Greenfield. As Meadows got into trouble trying to dribble through Alex Sharp and Kalen Evans and did not have success. Campbell inbounds to Phelps. Owen now. Surveying the situation. 14 seconds on the shot clock. In the corner it goes to Nate Hazleton. Back out to Hunter Campbell. Hunter down low to Phelps. And he gets fouled on the way up by Peter Carey. As Owen Phelps showing no fear. Going up against a much taller player. And drawing the foul. That's the first on Peter Carey. The ninth team foul on Frontier. First shot by Phelps is no good. He will get one more. And he makes that one, no problem. 10-6, Greenfield, 6.42 to go in the half. Alex Sharp, right side to Evans. Kalen, right side to Peter Carey. Three ball, partially blocked. Karsten gets the deep rebound. Back out to Alex. Sharp to Peter Carey, top of the key. To Karsten on the baseline. Karsten being hacked on the way through by Mason. And I'll tell you, Greenfield's not giving Karsten Carey an easy time. And it's just a matter of time before he figure, figures out a way through that triple team. But that time, it's a foul on Mason Meadows, and that is two on him. So Brewington and Meadows, each of the big men for Greenfield, have two fouls. Carson makes his first. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves, Deerfield's town moderator. He's a practicing lawyer in Greenfield, 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Carson's second shot is good. He makes them both. 10-8. Lead cut to two. Campbell now up ahead to Meadows. Meadows to Hazleton. Hazleton trying to muscle his way through. Traveled. As Carson had him blocked off. Greenfield fans did not like that. They thought there was a lot of contact there, but no call. Sharp with the ball now. Alex, about to drive through, kicks it to Kalen. Kalen, top of the key, travel. So neither team doing a very good job holding on to the basketball right now. Meadows is out, and Julius Brewington is back into the game. Timeout on the floor. He will take the break. 6.03 to go in the half. Greenfield 10, Frontier 8. This is Red Hawk basketball on senior night on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Sam Finch, the executive producer of high school basketball and all frontier sports is Kevin Murphy. Greenfield inbounds, six minutes to go in the half. They lead 10 to eight. Owen Phelps now with the basketball. Again, the winner of this game wins the league championship. Cody's shot, no good. Evans the rebound, got hit hard, but no fall. Up ahead to Owen Morse. Morse. Right side to Kalen. Evans. Cross court to Alex Sharp. Sharp running one hand around the baseline. It's an air ball. Rebound pulled down by Phelps. Here comes Owen. He's got a trailer. He goes up. Strong layup is good by Owen Phelps. The lead's back up to four. 12 8 Greenfield. Carey to Carey. Karsten alone. Oh, missed the baseline layup, but gets the follow up and lays it up and in. 
12-10 Greenfield, 5.14 to go in the half. Phelps to Brewington, up ahead. Oh, and it goes through the hands of Cody as he couldn't quite handle the pass from Jake Sack. We're going back the other way. So Frontier can take the lead or tie with a bucket here. Sharp now. Cross court to Peter. Peter loses control. Battle for it. Ball hits the floor. And it's Greenfield basketball. As Carey was the last one to touch it. So this has been a kind of a klutzy half for both teams. Owen Walkowitz is going to check in for the Hawks. Peter Carey will take a seat. So we'll see if Walkowitz can change some brainwaves out there. Good, good player off the bench for the Hawks this year. Campbell now. Back to Phelps. Owen up ahead to Jake Sack. Phelps now with the ball. Left side to Cody. In the corner it goes to Hunter Campbell. Hunter trying to drive on Walkowitz. Pulls back. In the middle of Sack. Sack goes up strong. Lays it up too strong. Brewington battles for the rebound. Carey comes away with it. Out to Sharp. Alex Sharp. Runs it right side. To Walkowitz. Walkowitz goes cross court to Owen. Owen Morse not having much of a chance at shooting the three tonight. Carey tries to go around Brewington. Off balance. Doesn't make it go. Put back by Walkowitz is good. Owen Walkowitz with a big rebound. And we're tied at 12. And we have an injury. Ryan Cody limps off the floor. So he might have rolled his ankle. He'll be replaced. Take a look at Cody. He's a big part of this team. He's a young player, but he's a starter now. And the wave with the basketball. Phelps now with it. High post to Hunter Campbell. Back to Owen. Owen to Hunter. Hunter. Back to Owen. Owen pushed off sharp. No call. Five seconds to shoot. Sack. To Campbell, Campbell, deep three, caught iron, no good. Kalen Evans the rebound. Up ahead to Walkowitz. Owen pulls it back. This is to Kalen. Kalen drives the baseline, kicks it to Morris. Morris hit on the way up. Offensive foul on Owen Morris. Drawn nicely by Jake Sack. Twelve, twelve, three twenty-seven to go in the half. A wild defensive struggle, as we thought it might happen. Both these teams play really good defense. Up ahead to Brewington. Brewington spots up for three, no good. Walkowitz the rebound. Outlet to Kalen. Evans now tries to drive through, and a little finger roll, no good. Tip back out. Morris for three does not go. Evans the deep rebound. And he stepped on the sideline. We're going the other way. Barrington's going to check in. Sharp's going to check out. So Barrington, Evans, Walkowitz, Karsten Carey, and Owen Morse. The five on the floor for the Hawks. Three minutes to go. Tied at 12. Brewington blocked on the way up by Walkowitz. What a play by Owen Walkowitz. Knocks it loose to Kalen. Evans now to Barrington. Tim gets a screen. Oh, and he stepped. Took an extra step. Tough break there. Didn't know whether to pull up for the shot or pass it. And that's caused the extra step. Brewington out. Jared Hart back in with the two fouls for Greenfield. 2.41 to go in the half. 12-12. Jake Sack up ahead to Owen Phelps. Phelps to Sack. Phelps now calling out the play. In the corner it goes. Three-pointer from the corner is no good. Hart the rebound put back. It's good. Through serious defense by Karsten Carey. Big bucket for Hart. 14-12 Greenfield. 2-11 to go in the half. Karsten draws double coverage. Kicks it back out to Barrington. No, looked like he traveled, but he got away with it. Barrington now goes out to Kalen at the rings. As... Frontier, Barrington now, 
Gets him daylight. Shot fits the front of the iron. No good. Hart the rebound. As the Greenfield fans are all up in arms over what Karsten Carey got away with earlier. Owen Phelps now. Outside to Sack. Back to Owen. That was left side. Back to, to Owen Phelps. Left side to Hart. Hart drives on Walkowitz. It's a side of the backboard. Got fouled on the way up. So Jared Hart is going to go to the line with a chance for a couple of foul shots here. That's the second foul on Owen Morse. Jared Hart coming off the bench. Has two fouls of his own. That time drew one. First shot by Hart is good. You get one more. Tonight's game being brought to you by Bobby C's DJ Service, the best mobile DJ in the Valley for the last six years running. Bobby C's DJ Service.com and Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Hart's second shot does not go. The rebound controlled by Evans, and he got, or, or what do they call a foul on, or they say he stepped in the line. Timeout Greenfield will take the break. 124 to go in the half. Greenfield 15, Frontier 12. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Sam Finch out here at Good No Gymnasium on senior night. The defensive battle in this game. Right now, Greenfield with the better of it. They lead 15 to 12 over the Red Hawks, and they have the ball underneath the Frontier basket. Phelps to throw it in. Throws it out deep. Hunter Campbell with it now. Hunter right side to Phelps. Owen to Hart in the paint. Hart spins away, kicks it back. Three ball, bat rims out, no good. Sharp comes down with it. Loses control though, and it's stolen back by Owen. Phelps to Campbell. Campbell to Owen, Owen. For three from the right elbow, does not go. Rebound though, pulled down by the wave. As Greenfield owning the offensive glass in this quarter. Hart has the feed down low. Peter Carey is able to keep it into Karsten. But the pass is stolen back by Hunter Campbell. Out to Phelps, Phelps to Hart. Hart of the baseline, tries to drive through to Sack. And Sack gets bumped, wave off the basket foul is on the floor. But it's going to be on Kalen, and that's going to be, well, a foul's on the floor, but it's going to be two shots either way. Or a one and one, actually, because that was the 17 foul. So that's two fouls on Kalen, and a one and one, as he'll come off for Jake Sack of Greenfield. First shot, good. By right, Jake Sack. Nice game being brought to you in part by Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins, longtime Deerfield residents, visit them at yarn.com. Jake Sack with the second shot. And that one goes. Makes them both. 17 12. Greenfield back up by five. 33 seconds left. Tim Barrington now to Peter Carey, to Alex. Sharp runs across court, being guarded by Hunter Campbell. Good angle, got the angle on, double team, he's in big trouble. It's gonna be a backcourt violation unless Barrington's able to save it, and he is temporarily. Right side to Gabe Jones-Thompson, terrible ball movement right now. It's gonna be a blocking foul on Jake Sack, and by my count, that's his third. It's gonna be a two shots for Gabe Jones Thompson. It's three fouls actually on Jared Hart, so they gave it to Hart. So Gabe Jones Thompson. First one is no good. They'll get one more. Julius Brewington back in. Hart out with the three fouls. Gabe Jones Thompson's second shot is good. He makes one of two. Amazing. Frontier only three field goals in this entire half. Everything else foul shots. Greenfield's able to break the press. Up ahead to Sack. Sack to Brewington. 
Groynton back out deep. And shot at the buzzer, does not go, wave it off. And that will be the end of the first half. We have played one half in South Deerfield on senior night. At the end of one half, it's Greenfield 17, Frontier 13. Second half action coming up on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second half action coming up in three, two, one. Chris Collins back out here at Good Note Gymnasium along with Sam Finch and Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of High School Sports for Frontier. We're at the half of a defensive struggle here in South Deerfield on senior night as the Frontier Redhawks trail the Greenfield Green Wave by a count of 17 to 13. The first time these teams met this year, uh, the Redhawks pretty well dominated the wave. And the reason they did was because of the front court play of the Carey brothers. And while well, Peter and Karsten haven't played badly, uh, they only have eight points between them of uh, the 13 for Green for Frontier. And Greenfield's defended the inside very, very well. Much better than they did in the first meeting between these two teams. So we'll see what happens. Start off the third quarter. Frontier will have the basketball. Kalen Evans will throw it in right in front of me. Original starting five for the Hawks on the floor to start this half. Sharp now. Right side to Kalen. Evans. Bounce pass down low to Karsten. Karsten loses control. Owen Phelps. Again, going in on Karsten Carey. So Greenfield has swarmed Karsten all night. And again, three of his five points have been from the foul line. So the Wave have the Hawks hemmed in. Up ahead to Meadows now. Mason, bounce pass down low to Jake Sack. Sack dribbles it back out. Phelps, left side to Meadows on the baseline. Meadows. Going to work on Peter Carey. Blocked by Peter Carey. Out of bounds. It should, should have gone off Greenfield. They're going to say it went off Peter, uh, Peter Carey. So they're going to talk it over. Yeah, Frontier Basketball. It looked very much like an obvious call there. That it went off of Meadows. So here come the Hawks. Trailing by four. Peter, high post, right side to Kalen Evans. Evans to Karsten. Karsten off the glass and in. And they got to get him some more daylight like that if they want to take this game back. 17-15, Greenfield. 7-5 to go in the third. Cody playing catch in the backcourt with Phelps. Up ahead to Meadows. Mason now pulls it back. Left side to Cody. 
Ryan drives through. Shot over Karsten Carey by Ryan Cody. Is good. What a shot by Ryan. A little teardropper. Carey now, top of the key. To Evans on the left elbow. Evans, foul on the play by Jake Sack. A hand check, and that's three on Jake. So that bear's watching. Three on Jake and three on Jared Hart, who's on the bench. Peter Carey now, a high post. Left side to Kalen. Kalen tries to run it cross court. Evans to Peter Carey to Sharp. Sharp, jumper. No good. Karsten, the deep rebound. Fresh shot clock for the Hawks. Evans to Peter. Peter up fakes. Left side to Owen Morse. Morse pulls it back to Carey. To Evans on the baseline. Rainbow jumper is no good. Hunter Campbell the rebound. One and out again for the Hawks. Campbell to Cody. Phelps on the elbow. Owen cross court to Sack. Sacker back over to Phelps. Phelps trying to drive on. Kalen shut off. Hunter Campbell for three. No good. Owen Morse the rebound. Owen now. Sharp. Over to Owen, to Peter Carey. Carey cross court to Kalen. Kalen gets a little seam, lays it up and in. He is that quick. 19-17, Greenfield by two. 5.28 to go in the third. Phelps up ahead to Hunter Campbell. To Phelps, to Cody. Cody. And they're gonna call him for a travel as Kalen Evans defended him perfectly and force that extra step. Frontier can come back and tie it or take the lead. They have not led in this game. Phelps down, runs cross court. Sharp, top of the key. Oh, stolen by Hunter Campbell. Good anticipation, pulls it back to Cody. Cody drives through, lays it up and in! What a shot by Ryan Cody! A no look layup! And it's 21-17, Greenfield by five again. Sharp to Carey, to Evans. Evans lays it up and in. And he ran right over Jake Sack in the process. 21-19. Campbell up ahead to Sack. Sack, Carey swats it away. And Evans spins it back. Kalen to Alex. Alex to Kalen in the elbow, to Karsten in the overplay. Off the glass, no good. Contested well. Rebound pulled down. Sat and now Phelps rather with it. Phelps in the corner to Campbell. Hunter pulls it back to Owen Phelps. Owen tries to go cross court. Peter Carey comes away with it. Carey outlet to Sharp. Alex, being guarded by Hunter Campbell. Left side to Kalen. Kalen for three. No. Oh, Morse the rebound. Lays it up and in. We're tied at 21. Timeout on the floor. We'll take the break. 3.42 to go in the third. On the scoreboard, we're all tied at 21. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So this has been a defensive struggle from the opening jump right now. We are right back where we started. Tie game, 21-21. Greenfield to inbound. Owen Phelps, and the sixth man for the Red Hawks is starting to get on their feet. And Frontier has one of the more exciting fan bases in all of Western Mass basketball, and they are up right now. Campbell to Cody. Right side goes as they work it around the perimeter. Owen Phelps. To Hunter. Hunter. Scoop pass to Brewington through his hands into the hands of Peter Carey. Frontier can take the lead. Sharp. Top of the key to Peter Carey. Carey to Carson on the baseline. Hook shot. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Sack. Owen Phelps. Trying to penetrate over the Sack. Sacker runs it right side to Campbell on the right elbow. 
Hunter to Julius Bruington, and he lost control of it. Karsten steals it back as he tried to work on Peter, and Karsten got the loose ball. Owen, side to Sharp now. Alex to Morse. Morse loses control temporarily. Hunter Campbell all over him. Morse gets a seam, dishes to Sharp. Back out to Peter on the baseline. Peter, on the, the point, gets the, <laughs> gets the ball knocked loose, gets it back, lays it up and in. And Frontier has their first lead, 23-21. 2.10 to go in the third. Phelps, right side to Hunter. Cross court to Sack. Sack goes through and draws the foul. Peter Carey is going to get called as Jake Sack tumbles to the floor, and he will get two shots and a chance to tie this game back up. Two fouls on Peter Carey. Walkowitz and the great one, Tim Barrington. They're going to check back in for the Frontier Redhawks. Sack's first shot does not go. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. Great coffee, snacks, and awesome lunch specials. Go see Nicole and the gang today. And by Extreme Networks, our newest underwriter. Customer-driven networking for your business. ExtremeNetworks.com. Second shot by Sack is good. Makes one of two. 23-22. Frontier. Two minutes left in the third. Owen. Over to Kalen Evans, and we've got a foul away from the play. It's going to be on Frontier. I think I say he stepped on the sideline. He stepped on the sideline, so a break for Greenfield on the turnover. Sack being hassled, trying to get it. Well, he threw away. He's trying to get it to Phelps. Well defended, though, at the three-quarter court point by Frontier. A big turnover. And Hart back in, and Jake Sack is out for Greenfield. Tim Barrington into the game now for Sharp. Barrington and Walkowitz are also out there. Cross court to Kalen Evans. 136 to go in the third. Walkowitz. Looking for someone to pass to. Gets it to Owen. Owen Morris, deep three. Go! He got the roll. That's a big three-pointer. Gives Frontier a four-point lead. Their largest of the game. Cody now. Up ahead. As Frontier stepping up the D. Cody, left side to Hart. Hart driving out Walkowitz. And a blocking foul on Owen. It'll be non-shooting. Frontier will, or Greenfield will inbound rather, underneath the Frontier basket with 104 left in the third. Phelps, who has not been out of this game yet, to throw it in. Out to Cody, top of the key. Cody, left side. Back over to Hart. Hart almost loses his balance there. Back out to Cody. To Phelps, right side. Phelps to Cody. Cody for three. Good! Ryan Cody from downtown. He has seven points in this half. 26-25, Frontier by one. Walkowitz to carry. And they try the overplay and a foul. That's going to be, I think, on hard. If it is, that's number four. That is four on Jared Hart. So he is one foul away from Sitting the bench the rest of the night. He has been good off the bench for the Greenfield Green Wave. Sharp back in. Evans is out. They're going to put Brewington back in. They're going to get Hart out of there with the four fouls. 26-25. Frontier with the ball. 38 seconds on the game clock. 30 on the shot clock. Inbound to Karsten. Karsten tries to go up. It's going to be either Meadows or Brewington. One of them is going to get called as they tried to double team Karsten and it's gonna be on Julius. That's three fouls on Brewington. And Karsten at the line, looking to extend the lead. First shot is good. Eight points for Karsten in this game, a quiet eight, half of them from the foul line. Karsten's second one, makes them both. 
And they're going to bring Hunter Campbell back in. They're going to get Meadows out of there. 28-25. Frontier by three. 36.6 seconds left in the third. Cody down. And what if Phelps in the backcourt? <laughs> the three-quarter court trap is on. Up ahead to Hunter. Hunter Campbell up ahead to Brewington. Brewington took a travel. Oh, tough break. He was all alone in front of the basket. Oh, Julius can't believe it. That was an easy deuce. Oh, tough break for Julius. 23 seconds left. Shot clock is off. 28-25. Front two to play for one final. Look at the bucket. Sharp. Pounds the ball onto the floor. Set play. Motion is on. Barrington. To Morris. Karsten now. Karsten goes around. Meadows. Meadows. A big hack from behind. No call. And that's how the quarter will end at the end of three. It is Frontier 28. Greenfield 25. Stick around. A wild fourth quarter is next on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book the next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Fourth quarter underway. The winner of this game wins the Hampshire League North title. They'll have six wins, good for first place. Right now it's anybody's game. Karsten Carey gets a pass from Kalen Emmons, lays it up and in. 30-25, Frontier by five. Meadows up ahead to Campbell. Campbell lays it up and in. Good defense by Kalen Evans, 30-27. Frontier with the lead, Sharp, lobs it into Carey. Carey, and wave that off. We're going back the other way. Meadows now, up ahead. Meadows trying to drive through on Carey. Lays it up and in. What a play by Mason Meadows as he got a seam and went right around Carey. 30 29. Left side to Evans. To Sharp to Evans. Carey now. And he got hacked on the way up as Meadows thought he had a block, got hand. That's going to be three fouls on Mason, and it's going to be two shots for the big man, Peter Carey. So Brewington has three. Meadows has three. And Hart has three, four fouls. First shot by Peter Carey is no good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves, Deerfield's town moderator. He's a Greenfield attorney. 773-8706. Peter Carey makes the second. He makes one of two. 31-29. Frontier. Meadows up ahead to Hunter Campbell. Hunter tries to feed Art and it's stolen by Kalen Evans. Not a great pass there. 
Evans to Peter Carey at the foul line. Peter pulls away, jumper from 12, front of the iron, no good. Karst on the rebound. Back out to Alex. To Kaelin Evans, reverse layup, showtime is good. Timeout on the floor. We will take the break, 6.27 to go in regulation. It is now Frontier 33, Greenfield 29. This is Red Hawk Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Sam Finch, Chris Collins, back out here at Goodnow Gymnasium on TEDx weekend. Deerfield Academy, the site of the big TEDx thing happening on Saturday, and FCAT's going to be there with all of our cameras. You can watch some of those games, or some of those uh, talks on this station. Now, Phelps with it, right side. Hart's back out there with the four fouls. Hunter Campbell now. Left side to Cody. Cody spots up for three. Good! Ryan Cody from downtown. His second three of the half. 33-32. Sharp. Left side to Owen. Peter Carey now. And traveled. Oh! And that was Hunter Campbell that made that happen. So Greenfield with a chance to take the lead back. Not bad to Ryan Cody. Ryan goes up strong, lays it up. Good! Reverse layup for Ryan Cody, who has taken this game over. 34-33. Greenfield by one. Sharp dribbles it off his foot. Oh, wow. Ben Barshevsky says, enough of this. Timeout on the floor. 5.43 in regulation. It is. Greenfield 34, Frontier 33. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Well, based on what happened the first time these teams played, I did not expect much of a game tonight, but wow, with the title on the line for the league, Greenfield has come in uns in been inspired tonight, playing great defense. They lead by one, and they have the basketball. Frontier is led by as much as five, but no more than that. Delps, left side to Cody. To Hunter Campbell. To Cody. Over to Hunter. Hunter trying to drive. This is to Hart. Hart ran into his guy and traveled. As Hart ran right into Brewington and forced to take an extra step. So not a great exchange in the paint there by Greenfield. Evans throws it into Sharp. Alex Sharp now, one of the five seniors on this club. To Morse, to Carey, left side to Kalen. Kalen back to Sharp, lobs into Karsten. Karsten, loses it for Morse. What a pass by Karsten Carey to Owen Morse, who lays it up and in. Carey had three green shirts around him, saw Morse alone on the baseline, and that is a great pass, and it gives the Hawks the lead back. 35-34, more, more importantly, that is four fouls on Julius Brewington. Morse makes the free throw. That makes it 36-34, Frontier. 5.08 to go in regulation. Phelps to Cody in the backcourt, to Meadows. Meadows over to Phelps. Up ahead to Campbell, to Phelps. To Cody. Cody's been on fire in the second half. Over to Phelps. 11 to shoot. Owen to Mason Meadows. Top of the key. To Cody. To Hart. Hart loses control temporarily. Back over to Phelps. One second on the shot clock. Phelps' shot is no good. Carry with the rebound and travel. Karsten can't believe it, but it's a, it's a travel. Greenfield will get the ball back. Big break there for Greenfield, who were held to one and out and used the entire shot clock. Campbell to throw it in. Throws it out deep to Owen Phelps. To Campbell. Campbell for three. Short-armed it. Hart the rebound. Stripped on the way up by Owen Morris. Owen now. Back to Sharp. Alex runs the right side. Bounce pass to Kalen. Kalen cross court to Owen. Oh, through his hands. And we're going back the other way. 
Moore says, that's my fault. Inbound pass to Phelps. 4.15 to go in regulation. Frontier by two. Meadows loses control, falls down. Morse for three. No! Peter Carey tips it loose. Kalen Evans, the deep rebound to Karsten. Nice play by Evans. Good hustle play by Kalen. Sharp now. Drives left to Morse. Morse drives the baseline. Kicks it back out to Kalen. To Peter Carey in a high post. Thrown away. Greenfield basketball. Kalen was breaking and the pass was just a half of a second behind him. So Greenfield will throw it in, 3.50 to go in regulation. 36-34, Hawks by two. Cody. Up ahead to Julius Brewington. JB, hook shot over carry, no good. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. Morse. Top of the key to Peter Carey. Carey with the jumper from the baseline, or the power line rather, is no good. Greenfield the rebound. Cody now to Hunter Campbell, back to Cody. Ryan's pass blocked by Morris, gets it over to Hart. Hart back over to Ryan Cody. He has been the man in the second half. Hart pulls it back, 13 to shoot. Peter Carey goes after him. Hunter Campbell now with it, right side to Phelps. Owen, trying to juke. Brewington for three, doesn't get the spin. Evans the rebound, outlet to Sharp. Walkowitz getting ready to check in for Frontier. Morris to Peter Carey to Karsten on the baseline. Back to Peter. Carey fakes the three, goes cross court to Sharp, almost through his hands. Alex down, jukes away, runs right side to Karsten. Karsten over to Alex for three. No! Brewington the rebound. Two and a half to go in regulation. Greenfield with the ball, down by two. Phelps to Campbell. Campbell to Brewington, Brewington back out to Hart, Hart for three, doesn't go, tipped out deep to Phelps, Phelps running one-hander, partially blocked by Carey, out of bounds, and they're going to say it's Frontier Basketball, as it wasn't touched by Carey, just defended well, and the Hawks will take it out, timeout Greenfield will take the break, 2-12 to go in regulation, it's Frontier 36, Greenfield 34, this is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Sam Finch, Kevin Murphy, back out here at Goodnow Gymnasium. 2.12 to go in regulation. Frontier with a two-point lead over the Greenfield Green Wave in a defensive slugfest on senior night. Alex Sharp now being guarded by Hunter Campbell up ahead to Morse. Morse to Karsten as they break Greenfield's press. Sharp, left side to Kalen Evans. Evans to Morse through his hands. And they're going to say he stepped on the sideline. And we're going back the other way. So that's at least three miscues in the last two minutes by Frontier. Turnovers that have given Greenfield the ball back. And that one could be a killer if they score. Cody to Sack. To Phelps. Up ahead to Sack. Back over to Owen. 19 to shoot. 142 in regulation left. Phelps gets a screen. Bounce pass to Cody. Cody from the elbow is good for three. Ryan Cody's been a madman. And Greenfield has the lead back, 37-36. Sharp runs it left side. Sharp being guarded by Campbell. Oh, they're going to call. Timeout. Frontier is. Don't go anywhere. Timeout. Greenfield 37, Frontier 36. Red Hawk Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. The story of this second half has been Ryan Cody, the Greenfield freshman who has 15 points in this half, including three threes, no bigger one than the one he just hit to give Greenfield the lead. 115 to go in regulation. Greenfield 37, Frontier 36. This is for the championship of this league. Evans lays it up and in. Caleb Evans. Has been on fire. Eight points in this half. 38-37. Frontier by one. A minute left. The winner wins the Hampshire League North. 
Campbell, top of the key. Left side to Ryan Cody, he's been the man. In the Meadows, Meadows travels as he got bottled up by Karsten Carey and the Greenfield fans can't believe it. There was a lot of contact there. That may prove to be a controversial call. Phelps gets the inbound pass, 41 seconds left, 28 seconds on the shot clock. <coughs> Evans to Sharp, up ahead to Karsten. Karsten to Peter on the left elbow. Peter Carey goes cross court to Kalen on the baseline. Kalen blocked on the way up by Meadows, a foul. Who they got? Karsten Carey fell on top of Jake Sack. It's gonna be a foul on Karsten, his second. It gives Greenfield the ball. 24.8 seconds left, 38-37 Frontier. No shot clock. Phelps crosses half court. Timeout Greenfield will take the break. 16.2 seconds left. Come back for the big finish. Frontier 38, Greenfield 37. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. What happens in the next 16 seconds will decide the championship of the Hampshire League North. Frontier leads 38-37. Greenfield has the basketball. There is no shot clock. This is for the title of the division. Both teams still going to the playoffs. Hunter Campbell to throw it in. Throws it back out to Phelps. Phelps being guarded by Sharp. Phelps trying to spin away. And a reach in foul is gonna be called on Sharp. Good foul, breaks the momentum. We're not shooting yet. Campbell to throw it in, 9.8 seconds left. Throws it back, another foul by Sharp. Slows down the play, that's two quick ones on Alex. That trims another half of a second off the clock. 8.5 seconds left. Greenfield still with the basketball, trailing by one. Into Phelps. Fouled again by Sharp. That trims another two seconds off the clock. We're still two fouls to give before we're shooting. Frontier trying to choke out Greenfield here. Phelps gets the inbound pass. Over to Campbell, Campbell deep three, rims out, no good. Put back by Sack at the buzzer, no good! But Sack got fouled. He got fouled at the buzzer. Are they gonna say he got fouled before the shot? If he did, he gets two shots and could win this game at the line. There is no time on the clock. What is the ruling gonna be? They're talking it over. He got hit before the buzzer went off. He was going up for a final shot. The refs are gonna talk about it. Oh, Jake Sack could tie this game or win it for Greenfield. And with it, the Hampshire County League North Championship. Who would have thought it would come down to this? Amazing. Sacker's gonna get two shots. There is nothing on the clock for time. This could be a huge moment and a huge memory for this young man. They're gonna put .3 seconds back on the clock. Jake Sack, arguably the two biggest free throws of his basketball life are about to happen. He sinks one. We go to overtime. He sinks them both. Greenfield wins the game and a league title that nobody thought they'd have a shot at earlier in this season. Crowd is up. And they're gonna ice him again. We're gonna keep it here. <laughs> As Frontier calls time, 
Again, let's set the stage. 0.3 seconds left. You have a 38-37 frontier lead. Jake Sack was fouled as he was putting up a last second buzzer beater with 0.3 seconds left. This is a two shot foul, which means he can miss the first, make the second, and send this game to overtime. Or he can make them both and Greenfield will win the Hampshire County League North title. Both these teams have five wins. Greenfield's a half game out. They win this one, they win that league title, and put themselves in a good position for a higher seed in the upcoming tournament than previously thought. This is massive. Green Wave fans, would love to steal one here. Jake Sack at the line. He's been standing there since he was fouled. Two shots. Sacker, his first one is good. We are tied at 38. Minimum overtime, he makes this one, and Greenfield wins. Jake Sack at the line. He puts it up. It's good! It's good! They'll throw it in. They huck it down the floor. No good. Game over. The Greenfield Green Wave upset the Frontier Red Hawks. 39-38, and they win the Hampshire County League North title. Unbelievable. Jake Sack, two killer foul shots, and Greenfield takes the title. An unbelievable turn of events. Frontier will finish second in the Hampshire North. The biggest win in this program's recent history and by far the biggest moment of the Angelo Thomas era as Greenfield was a bubble team at best heading down the stretch and they come in here and they beat the Red Hawks 39-38 at the buzzer two clutch all net free throws by Jake Sack unbelievable with the win, Greenfield moves to 11 and 9, but most importantly, they move to 6 and 2. Good enough for a league championship. The final score from South Deerfield the Greenfield Green Wave 39, the Frontier Red Hawks 38. For Sam Finch and Kevin Murphy, I'm Chris Collins saying so long from South Deerfield. You've been watching Frontier Community Access Television.